Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at a very interesting Python binding to PDFEM. This Python binding is called as PyPDFEM2, which we are going to install locally and then we will see how it works. This binding is primarily an ABI level Python 3 binding to PDFEM. Now, when we say ABI level, uh, level Python 3 binding, it has a certain meaning. What it means is that it is referring to application binary interface or ABI, which means that PyPDFEM2 directly interacts with the PDFEM library's binary interface without using a higher level abstraction or wrapper. You might have heard this term ABI level binding in a lot of other informal settings where people don't put on a new wrapper on top of an existing tool and they directly interact with the binaries. This primarily allows for a more direct and efficient interaction with the underlying library. And in this case, the underlying library is PDFEM. So PDFEM2 is an ABI binding. It's not a wrapper. It's not an abstraction. It is a binary which is dealing direct with the binary interface of existing tool PDFEM. So PDFEM2 is a low level binding that provides a thin or maybe non-existent wrapper around the PDFEM library's API that enables Python code to call PDFEM functions and access its data structures directly. This approach provides a higher degree of control and flexibility, but also may require more expertise and effort to use correctly. And that is what I'm going to show you in a very simple way in this video. There are a lot of ways to get it installed locally, but I will be using Conda. Before I show you the installation and inner working of this, let me give a huge thanks to our very good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. This is going to take a few seconds. And now let me install some of the prerequisites, which include Torch, VN, Pillow, and NumPy. And now let me install this PyPDFEM2. The best way of doing it through Conda, so you can see that I'm adding some of the channels here and then I am installing this PyPDFEM2. Let's wait for it to get installed. And by the way, there are some unofficial channels too, but I would highly suggest you that you go with this uh, channel and this installation way because that is uh, the most efficient one in my opinion. Just press Y when it asks you and it is going to install all the binaries with it and also the helper files and that is already done. Next up, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we will play with this tool in browser environment. And the Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import it and then I'm going to use this PDFEM2 on one of my local PDF document, which is something like this, a Doclink technical report. Doclink is another tool, uh, a very fine tool for PDF parsing, which we have covered. The reason why I have selected this file because it contains a very good mix of some of the scientific notation, some paragraphing, some images, some tab tabular data and a uh, few other stuff. And the size is just nine pages, which makes it easier to deal with. Now, if you remember the basic purpose of this P Py PDF EM2 library is for PDF rendering, inspection and manipulation and creation. So you see that I have imported the library. I have uh, instantiated this PDFM object with my local document, which I just showed you. Then I'm obtaining some of the uh, metadata, like version of this PDF, then how many uh, pages are there in this PDF, loading the first page, and then I am using it to render this image. Now, if you look at this code, it is a very, very simple code, really. For instance, this um, uh, Scale one just shows us that it is using 72 DPI for resolution. 
and then we are not doing any rotation because it is set to zero and then we are just using pillow to show it off so let me run it so as soon as i'm going to run it it is going to render the pdf there you go so it has rendered that pdf how good that looks really really good stuff and you see i have just set pdf zero so it has just displayed uh, and rendered the first page of that report so for example if i say one it is going to render the second page and then of course we can programmatically deal with it one of the coolest feature which i really like about it is that you can actually get the positioning and coordinates of all the objects on this pdf in numerical format so for example here we are getting the width and height of the page we are rotating the page the pdf and then we are getting the coordinate coordinates of it at the low level and that is where that abi works you see for all the objects on that it has obtained that how good is that for the first or second page whatever i selected above amazing amazing stuff so this is what i really love about it so the i'll just go with the first one again and i'll run it it has stored the first page then you can get the width and height it has changed how good is that really really stuff good stuff and now let me show you how you can do the extract and search for any uh, specific text within your document so this is a code which you can use for example i'm just getting this text page helper and these helpers come with this uh, pyptfem2 and then we are extracting the text from whole page and then you can even go with text from a specific rectangular area all you need to do is to give the coordinates and this really gives us the idea of uh, how flexible it could be in order to get any positions and then for example i am searching for docklink on that page i am not matching the case I, I am not matching the whole world even if docklink is part of any bigger world it is going to return me the exact positioning so let me run it there you go so this is a positioning how good is that really really good stuff if you want to read the table of contents out of that file you can also do so by just looping through it let me run this there you go and look at the speed of it this is really out of this world and i don't even think that it is using my gpu let's quickly check the gpu consumption i don't think so it is using it there you go you see it is all running on cpu so and look at that how good is this you can even create a brand new pdf with it with something like this sorry not this one let me my copy paste is just struggling a bit so let me paste it again the commands are very simple to create the pdf file so all i'm doing i'm just instantiating the new file i'm specifying the coordinates and then a new page you can of course have multiple pages in it also you can uh, for example you want to put content in it you can even do so that too so for instance you want to create a new pdf file you want to put an image or any content in it you can very simply do this with this where we are instantiating it and then we are getting a new image from it you can even uh, specify your own image so i'm just loading an image from my local system just a random image and then we are saving that pdf file and it will be very quick there you go so if you go to my local system there should be an output.pdf now how good is that so this is how easy and quick this pypdfem2 is which you can use for a lot of purposes all cpu all free all local and there is no model involved so things um, are really hitting up when it comes to handling the pdf files let me know what do you think if you're looking for an ai solution uh, for this pdf handling then just search my channel i already have done a lot of videos around a lot of tools around docklink mark it down marker nougat and then i have done the comparisons too so search the channel you should be able to find something to your liking if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching